Oh, once again, everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Unoriginal Craft. One thing I gotta start doing is, I always notice in my episodes, I have, like, high levels, like, in the 30s. I only have 26 levels today, but I gotta start using my levels in the episodes more instead of enchanting off-screen. But anyways, in the last episode, we started working on my walls, and we've died some progress on the walls. <laughs> Although, first off, I'm going to show you guys, I dug this out. This is going to be my basement, and I started digging this out now, because I certainly want to get a move on with a spe- I need storage room. I need storage room so freaking bad. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Um, so I, I just really want to start doing that. Uh, I need to do the floors. There's so much I have to do with this house still, but at the same time, I don't want this to take forever, so it's like, how much do I do off screen? How much do I do on screen? I don't freaking know. Maybe you could answer that question. Uh, so yeah, I made a few design- changes in the walls actually we should start with these ones first since this is these this one was the one i worked on i made the cross i believe it was upside down before i made it right side up and that'll make sense once you see the other walls there and i pretty much mirrored this i don't know exactly what i've changed i believe i made some changes in the arches um yeah i made the arches a bit more steeper perhaps maybe i even did that on the inside of the episode i'm not entirely sure um, I was thinking about making this three stories high, but I might just make it two now. It depends, really. Uh, these walls are, of course, a lot taller, simply because, um, the gap from here to this column are actually wider. And so, the walls kind of have to be taller. Do I hear a zombie pigment somewhere? Hello? That's some weird music. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it sounds really creepy. Uh, so these are wider... Um, yeah, so the archers, arches go taller, which is why these walls are so much bigger, which might make it really annoying to do a roof for. I'm gonna have to try my best and see what I could do. Um, what else has changed? I believe that's really it. I haven't done anything for this back wall yet. I have no idea what I want to do for it. This isn't a door yet. I'm, I'm gonna probably make this a back door eventually. Uh, I do plan on, like, including the portal, the furnaces, and the chests. I do plan on moving all of that. I want to make an individual building for the portal, especially, because I think I have a really cool idea for the portal room. Um, actually, if you guys have saw my Sal's Craft episodes a long time ago, you, uh, well, I'll probably, I'm going to use the same idea. Just because Sal's Craft only lasted a little while, at least for me, the server itself lasted a long time. Um, but if you're, if, if you used to watch me way back then, then you will might remember that, even if you did watch me way back then, that's pretty, like, specific to remember. And I didn't even right-click this. Why, what's what's going on here? Why can't I break this? Break. Break, break, break! I'm still getting a bit of lag. It hasn't really changed. I'm going to probably try switching the server over to a different location. The server is actually located in Dallas, Texas right now. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. Well, I mean, I, I, I figured that would be the best for everyone since that's the closest to Central America I can get. And I'm assuming most people I ever get on the server will be located in the Americas. If you ever start getting people in Europe, I might change it to like the East Coast or something just to make it more convenient for people in Europe. Although, I don't even know how uh, big of a difference that would be. But anyways, uh, I added tracks here. Um, because of the lag, you see it's really jittery. I can't really tell if this is <laughs> maximum speed or not. But, um, it's, it's been okay for now. It's a lot better than going down the halls jumping. I also increased the height by one. Uh, I'm guessing Judah changed the roof here. It's an interesting change. Um, Kenny actually suggested making the roof more of a dome shape. And while I, I actually thought of that too, the only problem is Nova's, um, Nova's tunnels above here, as well as the fact that we only have 10 blocks of bedrock. So those are two problems. I wouldn't even know how to... Um, fix. Uh, I am actually looking for Mr. Green Hippos. Is this his? People should sign their stuff more. <laughs> I saw my sign up here. What can anyone else? I hate everybody. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I think this is Mr. Green Hippo. He's been working on a secret build for quite a while. Is this the right way? No, I guess not. Um, I guess it would be down here. Oh god, why is this so confusing? There's too many branching paths. Oh, what's this say? Cafe de la Hippo. Let's go over here and take a look at what that is. Oh, some more music playing. Uh, I'm still wearing headphones that only work in one ear right now. I need to go buy some more. However, I'm not going to be able to do that till I get a job. A proper job. I actually work part-time at Chicken Chef still. And I've worked there for over two years. And I remember the episode I made. I think I was recording Super Mario Sunshine still. 
my let's play. Whoa, what the heck? Am I gonna suffocate? Where am I? I'm gonna have to relog. I think I'm gonna have to relog. Good thing about hiding uh, IP is I don't have to worry about everyone seeing my IP. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, so this is his cafe. I have no idea what this place is. He's been working on it and talking about it for a long time. Stations, huh? Um, he made videos on it, but I purposely didn't watch them. Uh, I feel like I'm hyping this up way more than... Like, he, he's even said, like, don't get too excited. It's not that awesome. Uh, welcome to um, the Cafe de la Hippo. The world's first... Number one... Milk it? You know what? We have blocks. Why don't we just do this? Milk it yourself cafe. Comes with a free mob grinder and enchanting mm. setup. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, I will. Okay, wow. Okay, there's some of that aforementioned leg. Grab clean cuts from the bin. Please put your dirty dishes in the sink. Oh, that's cool. oh there's a hopper under. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, I feel like I brought way too much stuff. <laughs> okay. F fill filled it up. Grab clean Oh, I guess. Okay. Oh, right. That would be a cow in it. Do we go this way? I don't think we need to go this way, do we? No. I'm already liking this so far. That looks really cool. Oh, I'm gonna steal your iron bars. Not really. <laughs> I'm just snoopy. Oh, there's an enchanting table. I need an enchanting table. That's another thing I really need to do. Where else do we? Complimentary room. What's in here? Nothing. Just a, just a cute little adorable chest. Viewing station. No lights. Okay, let's go take a look at that. This is very... I'm liking this though. This is really cool. This is dark here. Mob control. Down is on. Ah, oh, this is the mob grinder. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. I'm, that's kind of mob grinder I would make if I um, f eventually find a spawner near my nearby to my ho home, home house, homey house. What's this? Auto mob crusher, manual crusher. Ah. Oh, oh, see, this is really cool. This is better than my thing before. What's in here? Nothing. I believe it's a zombie spawner. I remember I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, there's a cow. Milk the cow. And then enjoy your drink. Yeah. No, 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 no. What the heck just happened? Let's have another drink. Thank you, good sir. I don't know why I thought for some reason. Oops. Let's throw that in the correct place. I don't know for some reason I thought that you could put um, water into buckets from here. Although you should be able to, right? Where's Q? I gotta Q this. Oh, I did Q it. It was just lagging. Okay. Although it's bugging me that, um... Oh! Oh, I see! It goes into the dropper and then the dropper just puts it right back in the chest. That's cool. Alright, I guess that's maybe just a mine. What's down here? A curiosity. Yeah, it just looks like a mine. This is cool! The cow, I couldn't really see too well. Although, I guess I'm not really here to critique a build when I'm pretty bad at building myself. So is this it then? I feel like there's more to this building. More than meets the eye. I mean, there's the mob grinder, of course. Mm. But, um, I have no interest in that. Uh, since we will eventually be building our own mob grinder. I want to see what the station thing is. Under construction. What about the other one? Under construction. I wonder if there's anything behind it. I'm just, I'm, I want to snoop. I hope there's not, like, redstone or anything, but I don't see why there would be. Ah, see, it's just stone. Right? I wonder if this will change or not. I wonder if it's actually construction or if this is just eye candy. It might just be eye candy. So we're on station two apparently. I guess station one. What, what's see? It's like what the heck's down there? I want to know. <laughs> uh, Hippo Rail Lane Station Two. That's really cool. I really like this actually. Good job, Hippo. This is a really good build and awesome to see a uh, cool build like this. But I'm actually curious. Can we get outside from here? Since I had a, I had a theory, I remember him telling me where I asked him where like this build was. Oh, no, I was gonna say what's that say? But um, I bet we could get outside through the cave here. I had a theory of where these builds were, and I kind of want to see if that theory is correct. I wonder if there's a way up from the caves. There might be. Is it over here? Perhaps. Perhaps. So, uh, a long time ago, I don't, did I show this? I probably did show this on camera. I believe so. I believe it was one of my first episodes where I ran into a sign. Or I found a really cool building place and I ran into a sign there that said, uh, future spot of uh, Mr. Green Hippo's build something, emporium, something or other. 
And I think that's where we might be. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to leave before I get lost, which I might already be. Lo I think I'm already lost. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> well, this sucks. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're over here. We're fine. Okay, so I have a few things, other things planned for today. Um, I will see you guys in a second, and we're going to work on my house some more. Okay. So, I had an idea last time, like, hmm, what do I want to fill, this is the front of my house, by the way, uh, I was trying to think of what am I going to fill this in with, and I can't, whoa, I have a lot of dirt, huh, that'll be useful, actually, okay, let's make that a good pile, there we go, okay, so I actually had the idea of maybe putting a circular, uh, not a mirror, but a window here, and I actually just counted out just now, and wow, there's seven blocks between including these two blocks from here to here which makes actually the perfect circular mirror which is fantastic and I'm happy and so actually kind of shocked that it worked out so well so I want to make the mirror or the I don't know why I keep wanting to call the mirror I, I want to make it around here or so and it would be here and it's one okay it's three there it would be there okay there we go okay this is already proving to be really easy <laughs> Which is good news for me, because let's face it, anything too difficult for me kind of doesn't work out too well. Although I guess that's true for anyone, really. You know what? I'm glad I got really lucky with this, and I'm glad. Okay, and this sh that should be it, really. Uh huh. Let's take a look at this book. Did I did I mess something up? I mess them up. I feel like I messed something up. Or maybe it's the FOV messing up. What's FOV stand for, actually? I don't know. That looks kind of cool. I, I think that looks really cool, actually. We could even include our cross thing there. Huh. Although, do we want to? See, I have all this building supplies. All as you can see, every, every time I've been logging onto the server, I've been whittling away at building this. Uh, let's replace that one, actually. Hmm. See, now what do I want to fill? Do I want to fill out with co the continued cross pattern, or do I want to do something else? Since I do want to do the roof, like, probably here. That, that, the roof is going to be, like, super complicated. I'm scared to do the roof, to be honest. To be honest with ya. Should we just do this, maybe? Where are we here? Do we have... We have a bit more stone bricks. Okay, let's take a look at what both look. Of course, I'm one short. <laughs> that would happen to me. I don't know where the heck. Why do I have one stone? Is it maybe maybe that's for making stairs or something? I don't really know. Let's okay. I don't really like how that looks. It looks like there's something really empty here, and I don't know what other block I would possibly put there. Like look at this block leg. So many obnoxiouses. All right, there we go. Is there a center here? There is indeed. But what I do I even want to do anything about that? Do I, This might look fine, actually. Huh. I really need to start, like, cooking sand or something. I have, like, zero sand on me. Which is kind of sucky. But, um... I need to start cooking sand and making, like, stained glass and all that. See, this kind of ruins the circle, though. Does it not? Maybe not. And up there, can we even reach that? Uh, hey, we did it! Hey, we did it! Oh God! <laughs> okay, uh, this was this is even Judah came over here, and I've been thinking this all along, but then he like put it into words. Um, that he's like, you know what? This kind of looks like a church. I'm like, you know what? You're kind of right. We're gonna be living in a church, guys. I might as well put a freaking piano in here or an organ rather. And just go with it. <laughs> I'm not really going to do that. But I might as well, to be honest. See, that looks really cool. Doesn't it? But I feel like there's something missing here. What that is, though, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I definitely feel like there has this has to be, like, a f flat, I guess, maybe. Gosh, dangs it. Hmm. What if I just did this, but up there? Like, look, there's even, like, a cross here. Kind of. I guess you could call that a cross. Well, my other issue is, I feel like I should move the staircase back one. Because I, f cause I want to put a wall here, but I, f but I want this to be open. Just, you know, so there's a lot of room above my head. Because I don't, I, a big problem I have, you know, why don't we do that right now? 
A big problem I have with my builds all the time is I make everything, I don't accommodate for the possible cramping. Whoa. That was a weird frame job. I've never seen that before. That was weird. I never accommodate for like the, um, the potential for like cramping myself inside. Like I build the outside and don't really take in consideration what the inside will look like. And then I run into issues just because of that. See, something like this. Yeah, see? That's alright. Meh, see? I thought that was iron for a second. I was like, how did I even miss that? Um, I definitely feel like I should throw some torches down here. Last thing I want is a creeper to blow up all my hard work of digging out stone and grass. How's that look? Ah, see, that's great. And like I said, this will all be replaced with probably wood. I'm still thinking about what the heck I want to do for a... Uh, see, yeah, see, that's too close to your head. I don't like that at all. I'm still trying to consider what the heck I want to use for material for the floor. I want it to be wood, but I'm trying to think of like what pattern do I want or what kind of wood even. Like, I feel like anything really light would kind of take away from it since this entire build's kind of had a dark scheme to it. Which, by the way, I've always liked dark schemes a lot more than lighter schemes. Is that racist? That's really racist, and I apologize. <laughs> Another thing is, which way do I build my storage room? Do I build this way? Although that kind of leaves the building, doesn't it? I mean, but if I build this way, I feel like because of the staircase here, it doesn't really give me much room unless I build down a bit more. Maybe I will even do that. Like, for example, um, something like this and then build down. Maybe that will work out okay. I kind of like that. I mean, there's certainly enough room, isn't there? Although, I don't really want to walk too far in my house to get to, like, my storage area and all of that, right? Because, I mean, that's just silly to have to walk that far. I don't know. Maybe if I just, like... I should just install, like, um, a dropper or something, like, up here that just goes directly into my chests, <laughs> so I never have to go downstairs ever. It's really bugging me. Can I even make doors here? Oh, it'll be off center. Well, I guess if it was off center, I could just do double doors, but still. Okay, well, we've pretty much done everything I wanted to do today, so goodbye. Not really. Um, I'll have to figure out something else to do for this episode. Um, I figured showing off the Cafe de la Hippo would be enough, plus, um... Uh, uh, building the window, but apparently not. Uh, another thing I've been working on is this is gonna be an amazing build, and I'm gonna shock you guys. There's a weird leg again. It's like everything slows down, goes slow motion. Oh god, this is getting really loud. I'm gonna stay away. Yeah, but I've been starting at my own farms. Uh, we need to expand the sheep pen because <laughs> they're a bit crowded in there, and since you can't really ever kill sheep, at least there's no point to kill sheep. Um, but especially the cows too, like holy crap. I wonder how many, let's let's see if, I don't remember how this works exactly. But I know we could point it and there's like, E, is that entities? Well, there's still three, but there's nothing here. Uh, okay, well, let's go, well it goes jumps up a bunch, so maybe there's like 200 cows in there. I mean according to the E, you know we see Minecraft in the top left and then there's C underneath that and then there's E. I think that means entities out of 290. I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of that really means. Oh, see, it still says if we walk away, does that number go down? We're learning things! It does not. Maybe that's the max amount of entities that could be in an area at a time? I don't really know. Um, there's this village here I've lit up. I, have I shown you guys this? I originally thought this was the village that was right by the desert, and I just left it, and I never even came here to investigate because I'm like, ah, whatever. But I actually came here um, actually quite a while ago with Nova. It doesn't rain in the savannah? I guess that makes sense, but that's still kind of weird. And I, we discovered that this is, in fact, a completely different village. So that's actually kind of awesome. If we ever need villages, villagers, I know exactly where to go. Um, I've blocked all the villagers in the house. And there's been a few creeper blasts here that have really made me angry. Well, now the villagers escaped from them. I feel kind of sad <laughs> trapping these guys indoors like this. Even though they're, like, you know, fake... Um, people that it doesn't even matter. There's a full set of iron armor in here. Minus the helmet, by the way, which I found. I was like, whoa, why is that here? I don't freaking know. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I guess that's all I really wanted to do today. I always get lost. Where the heck? I th we're this way, right? I think so. Well, this torch is this way, so I'm gonna assume I'm right. If you guys can see, there's actually a whole bunch of unexplored area underground, too, so... I mean, I've been caving since the last episode. Oh, I know another thing I want to do. I want to combine my swords. I enchanted another sword since this sword is, like, on its last leg. Um, 345 durability. Well, I guess that's still 345 hits. That's not really on its last leg. But it's getting down there. 
And so I enchanted another sword. I got, I think, the same enchant. However, if I combine the swords, let's see here. Sharpness 3, knockback 2. Oh, I thought it was sharpness 3. Really? I thought I got sharpness 4. What, what does this make, though? Oh, that only makes sharpness 4. That takes 31 levels. Well, that kind of sucks. I thought these were sharpness 4 swords. Actually, it really sucks. I'm like, cool, I'm going a sharpness 5 plus a full like refund of this sword, pretty much. But no, that's not true. Um, I found 16 diamonds plus the two I used on this sword since the last time I've seen you guys. Nothing too great. Um, I've been doing really terrible with... Um, uh, getting diamonds like seriously I've been keeping for hours and hours and I found like so little amounts of diamonds I might start a strip mine soon I'm not entirely sure what I want to do about that yet although I do have a build idea for a strip mine as crazy and weird as that sounds um, I was about to give it away but I don't really necessarily want to do that do we have any wood I believe we do maybe we could just start working on the floor today and freaking wing it Where's our wood at? Where's our wood at? Wood at? I mean, I did say I want to do darker wood. Maybe acacia wood somewhere in there would be cool. It'd be cool, man. Let's try some things. I want to organize my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what the heck I want to do here. Uh, I just grabbed a whole bunch of wood. And I know I don't want to use wood itself, so I don't actually come to think of it. I don't know why I put all this wood in here to begin with. I guess for more just for organization purposes. Purpose I. Uh, let's put these here, I guess. Put the workbench there. Um, I guess, I mean, heck, I don't know. We'll just place a whole bunch of, make a whole bunch of planks and see where our mind takes us. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I want that many dark wood oak planks. I'm leaning kind of towards making... I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Because I don't really feel like... I mean, spruce and dark oak don't really... I mean, they look too similar, don't they? Well, maybe not. That looks kind of cool. But I feel like... I mean, this this is crazy dark already. I mean, that, well, it's dark oak wood. I mean, I don't know why I expect any different. Do I have an axe? That's one thing I forgot to grab. When I, when I went... When I said I would be right back and... Okay, I do have an axe. And oh, guys, my I literally just threw everything in that chest over there. <laughs> So, um, yay, not organizing, too lazy, okay, we are going to need you, crap, and look, look how unorganized this is already, okay, let's just break all this and, like, place all the wood in here and take a look, because, I mean, as much as I like this, I really like that orange, it's very vibrant and crazy, but it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the build, does it, is that all the wood we have, I believe it is, we have willow, I don't think that would fit either. I mean, we could first start off by breaking all this, since I do want to, like, cover the floor. I'm going to leave a border, though. Like, I'm going to leave the border for the stairs here, just so I it makes sense to me. Because I feel like if I cut all this out, it would really confuse me. Just because I'm the kind of guy that would get confused by stupid things like that. Um, can I tell you guys about anything while I'm doing this? Well... This one time, okay, I was going to try and improv a story, but, you know, I'm going to stop myself right there, because we both know how that's going to turn out. Plot twist, very terribly. <laughs> what can I tell you guys about, though? Uh, oh, 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 I got one. Oh, I'm, I'm actually really been very angry these past few days. I can't believe, like, this didn't pop in my head immediately. Um, I was watching Prison Break, actually. I've been watching that show lately. Have any of you guys seen Prison Break? Uh, it was about 3.30 a.m. Uh, I was rendering out a video, and all of a sudden, I hear a big BANG! I was like, what the heck was that? I just I just sat there for a few minutes, not really thinking much of it. And, oop, that's not what I'll place there. And a few minutes, I'm like, wait a second. Last time I heard a big bang, the next day, I ran upstairs and found... By the way, this, old, this like, spruce wood planks and this dirt looks really similar in the inventory. Um, yeah, the, the last time that happened, and I waited till the next day to go take a look at it, it turned out someone had, uh, kicked in the hood of the truck, of my, uh, my dad's truck that normally sits in the driveway, but 
uh, often sits in the street as well. But this was the time before, but it really worried me, like, wait, there was someone did something again to my mom's car that I was actually parked outside on the street. So I immediately ran upstairs, and I looked outside, and I couldn't really see anything. I mean, the front of the car looked okay. I couldn't really see the back of the car because it was obstructed um, from a snowbank. And then I noticed something. There's a little dent on the back of the car. I'm like, huh, what's that? That looks like someone... Actually, it looked like what you would imagine a bat would do to a car. Like a metal bat hitting a car. Like, can you imagine the dent that would make? That's exactly what it looked like. I'm like, uh-oh, someone hit the car with a bat. That is extremely terrifying, and I hope no one's out to murder me for some reason. <laughs> and so, um, I try to get a better angle at it, and my heart drops all of a sudden I notice the entire backing of the car is gone I well first off I start panicking I was like did is someone like out to murder me right now like what I mean this is the second time someone's hit a vehicle my family owns on the street so I start freaking out I wake up my dad I'm like what should I do <laughs> he's like well Chris you can't really do anything about it tonight just whatever I'm like no no I want to know what this is so I manned up and I went outside and oh god <laughs> and it turned out what I'm assuming was a drunk driver hit the car the entire back well I shouldn't say the entire it, the entire backing wasn't in fact gone but what what had happened was um someone hit like the if if you're looking at a car straight actually we're gonna we're gonna say we're looking at a car from the back like you're standing behind a car and you're looking at it. On the left side, left corner of the... Okay, this is the car right here. I'm standing behind a car right here. This left side of the car got hit and smashed up and the frame was bent. The wheels were all crooked. And... Okay, what do I want to do here? I don't know. I'm bad with designing this kind of stuff. Well, let's let's start with what we can do here. Let's, 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 I don't know, let's, should we keep with the cross theme? I don't freaking know. Uh, yeah, someone hit, uh, pff, someone hit a junk driver, I'm assuming. And, um, the entire, like, the taillight was gone. I, actually, I can even put up a picture, right? I'm just gonna put up pictures right here to show. And there was, like, literally debris from the car spread across the road, like, 20 feet down. And not all of it was my car. I did find bumper, black bumper that did not belong to the car. It was, it's a tan beigey color, so I knew for sure it wasn't, like, a part of the car, and there wasn't really any plastic that would, like, um, be from that. So, I was pretty angry. I immediately called the cops, and they're like, well, can't really do anything about that. And it turned out to be very true. They couldn't do anything about it. I filed a police report anyways, but of course, I mean, you can't really expect much from that, and neither am I, like, going to expect much from that. I'm gonna place a wall here, so maybe this shouldn't be here. I might tear all this floor out, by the way. I'm just testing stuff, I guess. I mean, is there anything we could do really here? So would spruce look okay? I feel like spruce is a very wall kind of wood, isn't it? Isn't it? So, yeah, some asshole hit my car. And now it's getting a ride off. My mom actually just texted me like 10 minutes ago and she's like, yeah, there's $9,000 of damage. And she only paid $2,000 for this, like, it's a used car. Um, so that's going to the freaking gosh dang auto pack and getting destroyed. Is auto pack everywhere or is that, is that only a Canada company? I don't know, but that's our version of car insurance. Um, so I'm very angry and I felt really bad too because the first day, it's actually my mom, my parents are divorced. And, um, from the first day, my mom occasionally lends me her car since her boyfriend has a van. They don't really need two vehicles. Uh, but the first day of my mom lending me the car, she's like, Chris, uh, you can park it on the street, but, like, be careful because someone could hit it. Assholes exist. And I'm like, yeah, it won't ever happen. <laughs> and, well, it happened. It totally happened, and I felt really bad, but at the same it's not my fault. So it's not really... It's not like I park like an asshole either. It's like I always make sure to park the car as close to the curb as possible just to ensure like assholes can't hit it because I, you know, it's like you you can expect drunk drivers to hit it if, if you give them like something to aim at. Yeah, but yeah, so that's my very annoying story. Hmm. See, that looks kind of cool. I kind of want to do this all along here. Like this, for example. 
I, what I really need to do, what I'm going to have next episode is I need to start healing, actually. Because I'm going to have a whole bunch of glass. And I'm going to fill in all these. I don't want to do this plain glass. I want to, like, stain it and then probably have something interesting, like, uh, make a pattern in it. I don't know what I, what I could really do, especially for, like, the small window right there. Maybe just another cross. <laughs> that's really, apparently that's the only basic symbol I know how to do. Just freaking crosses. I don't freaking know. Uh, this episode's getting pretty long, though. Looks like I did find something to talk about after all. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, if you uh, enjoy, please feel, free to leave, blah, 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 blah. please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, I will hopefully have a pattern for this. I mean... Actually, I kind of wish I could... You know what? Maybe I'll just record an episode back-to-back -back and continue talking. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Reese's Pieces. Bye-bye.